Hey guys. Cyber. Relax, I was just gonna get there. Anyway, as this little buddy was saying, 80% of you aren't subscribed to the channel, so hit that subscribe button. It really helps. Hey, what Pokemon are you? Astral Radiance is the newest Pokemon TCG set, which releases on May 27th, 2022, and will be legal for tournament play as of June 10th, 2022. Today, I am going to talk about the cards that I think are the most impactful for competitive play out of this brand new set. Let's begin with Origin Form Palkia V-Star, which I think is the most hyped card out of the set, and for good reason. It is a V-Star card and evolves from Origin Form Palkia V, which means it has the V-Star rule that says your opponent takes two prize cards when it's knocked out, and it also has a V-Star power that you can activate once per game. Palkia V-Star has 280 HP as a water type Pokemon, and it has one attack subspace swell. For two water energy, it does 60 damage plus 20 more damage for each benched Pokemon. That's both yours and your opponent. So if you have five benched Pokemon and your opponent has five benched Pokemon, it does 260 damage without any damage modifiers like Choice Belt or Leon. The V-Star Power Star Portal is an ability that you can activate once per game. Star Portal reads during your turn, you may attach up to three water energy cards from your discard pile to your water Pokemon in any way you like. Origin Form Palkia V-Star is a great target for this effect, but other water cards like Ice Rider Calyrex V-Max and the brand new Radiant Greninja are also great targets for the Star Portal Energy Acceleration. I think Origin Form Palkia V-Star focused decks will be a tier one threat and this will be a deck that you either want to play or have a game plan around beating. Next is a Suian Samurott V-Star, so another new V-Star from the set, and this set honestly has many playable V-Stars, but Palkia and Hisuian Samurott V-Star are the most impactful of the V-Stars in Astral Radiance, in my opinion. Hisuian Samurott V-Star has 270 HP and is a Dark-type Pokemon. Notably, it's weak to grass, and we are also getting Hisuian Lilligant V-Star in this set, which I think is a more underwhelming card compared to Samurott, but could be good just due to the weakness. Hisuian Samurott V-Star has the Merciless Blade attack for Dark Dark. It does 110, and if your opponent's active Pokemon already has damage counters on it, this attack does 110 more damage. So it does 210 for 2 energy, uh, I'm sorry, 220 for 2 energy, as long as there's already existing damage on the defending Pokemon. Things like Inteleon Quick Shooting and Galarian Zigzagoon's Headbutt Tantrum can easily apply that damage, but Hisuian Samurott V-Star also has the V-Star power ability Moon Cleave star during your turn you may put four damage counters on one of your opponent's pokemon now this works very well with assuming samurai v star itself but it also combos really well with medicham v's yoga loop attack because you can moon cleave star to put four damage counters on a pokemon that has six 60 hp or less and then immediately yoga loop it to take that extra turn and do whatever you can with that extra turn after taking a knockout. Uh, so I think this Mooncleave Star plus Yoga Loop combo will be quite strong. And I also think Asuian Samurai V Star is quite an efficient attacker on its own, especially since it hits Mew V Max for weakness. Next, we'll look at the Radiant Greninja card, which is one of the first of a brand new mechanic, which is the Radiant Pokemon. The Radiant Pokemon rule is you can't have more than one Radiant Pokemon in your deck. That means one copy of Radiant Greninja, and then you cannot play any other Radiant Pokemon in your deck if you're playing this. These are all basic Pokemon, so even if the Pokemon would evolve like Greninja does from Froakie and then Frogadier, it comes into play as a basic Pokemon since it is a Radiant card. It has 130 HP, it's water type, and it has an ability and an attack, which are both very good. The ability Concealed Cards reads you must discard an energy card from your hand, and then you draw two cards. So this is pretty good. It can get energy into the discard for Palkia V-Star. It wants energy in the discard. It can also get energy in the discard for Dark Decks with the new Dark Patch card. And then you get to draw cards, so who doesn't like that? The attack Moonlight Shuriken for Water Water Colorless says discard two energy from this Pokemon and do 90 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon, either active or benched. 
So that's really good. You can snipe two Sobbles or two Drizziles, or you can even clean up knockouts that you didn't quite finish earlier, or set up damage for future knockouts with your Palkia V-Star or whatever other card you're pairing this with. Although Palkia V-Star just seems like the obvious partner since it gets all three energy onto Radiant Greninja in one clean sweep with Palkia V-Star's ability. So I think this and Palkia V-Star will be seen side by side quite a lot in the Astral Radiance meta. Next, we are looking at a brand new stadium card titled Temple of Sinnoh. Temple of Sinnoh reads, all special energy attached to Pokemon, both yours and your opponents, provides one colorless energy and have no other effect. So let's think about some of the most powerful special energies we have right now. Rapid Strike Energy, which helps out Rapid Strike Urshifu and Medicham V, and Double Turbo Energy, which is a very important card in Mew VMAX and Arceus V Star decks. Those cards are now only providing one colorless energy, so just think about the hit that those decks take. Additionally, Fusion Strike Energy in Mew VMAX decks prevents abilities from affecting the Pokemon that that energy is attached to, which means Quick Shooting and Headbutt Tantrum that we mentioned earlier to combo with Hisuian Samurai V-Star. Those abilities don't affect a Mew VMAX if it has Fusion Strike Energy on it, but you can negate that with Temple of Sinnoh. Also, just turning off their special energy from providing the color they want it to, you also remove any additional effects that that energy provides. So I think Temple of Sinnoh is going to be really great if quick shooting or headbutt tantrum makes a difference for your deck versus Mew VMAX. Next is a new supporter card, Roxanne. Roxanne has the requirement that reads, you can only use this card if your opponent has three or fewer prize cards remaining. So they've knocked out a VMAX or maybe a V-Star and a single prize Pokemon. And then the effect is each player shuffles their hand into their deck. Then you draw six cards and your opponent draws two cards. So this is great. You get to draw six cards and your opponent shuffles their hand and just draws two cards. This is going to be so disruptive and it's going to be a really great comeback mechanic in my opinion, especially if you pair it with something like Path to the Peak or maybe some energy removal or something like Mal Mar uh, Malamar VMAX's Max Jammer attack. So I expect to see Roxanne as a one or two count in just about most decks. And finally, we have Gardenia's Vigor. Gardenia's Vigor reads, draw two cards. If you drew any cards in this way, attach up to two grass energy cards from your hand to your, one of your benched Pokemon. Now, it doesn't even have to be a benched grass Pokemon, uh, but they do have to be grass energy cards. This is similar to Welder, an old supporter we had in the Sun and Moon era, which accelerated fire energy from the hand, except that had to attach fire energy prior to drawing cards, and you could only play it if you had fire energy to attach. This allows you to draw the cards first and then attach grass energy. So even if you drew into them off of the effect of the supporter, you can use those energies to accelerate. Now, I'm not sure that this will be impactful exactly with Hisuian Lilligan V-Star, which is a new card from this set, but I think this is a card that will have impact both short-term and long-term in the game, since that kind of energy acceleration that cheats two energy onto the board is very rarely not an impactful effect in the Pokemon trading card game. So those are my most impactful cards from Astral Radiance, but be sure to leave it in the comments down below what cards you think are really going to shake up the game out of this new set. I've been Luke from Celio's Network, and thanks for watching this video here today on Beast Coast Pokemon. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.